All right, we are recording. I'm Anna Hughes. I'm a superstar director out of Montesino, Washington, and I'm joined tonight by my good friends, Wendy Heath Newgas and Rachel Pence. And we're here to talk to you guys about tips and tricks, secrets so much of sponsoring new team members. So I'm super, super excited you guys are here. Um, the ladies that are joining us tonight, they have done amazing, amazing things with their Sensi business. Um, the three of us have earned annual mentor award. We've been top tier trip earners. So we, um, we, have, a, we have a little bit of experience in, in growing our teams and sharing the opportunity and um, the love for what Sensi really is, right? So the idea behind this whole chat, I have some amazing team members and I know that my friends do too, that were like me, that like, like I was in the start of my Sensi business. When I started my Sensi business, I was a certified consultant for two years. My sales were good, um, but the whole process of recruiting kind of wigged me out. I wasn't sure how to offer. I wasn't sure that I wanted to offer. Uh, I was afraid of hearing no. So I just didn't do it for two years. And at the two mark, two year mark, I decided to start, just shove all of that away. I'm going to start offering the opportunity. Um, and I refined that whole process. That year I recruited 41 people. So I went from certified consultant to a team of 55 by the end of the year. Um, so I know how you're feeling. If you're feeling frustrated or you're feeling like maybe it's too late to start recruiting, it's never too late to, to start recruiting, okay? So it's never too late to share the opportunity with people. I'm just muting everybody here so I stay nice and clear for you guys. Um, so the, process, the thought process with this chat was that we really wanted to help those people who wanted to, wanted to build a team but weren't really sure how or they felt like they've tried everything or they've asked everyone and for for whatever reason it just wasn't clicking so your expectations of us tonight are that we are going to give you the tips and tricks that are going to help you ask enough people ask the right people and ask the right way okay so um so we'll move on from that It'll, it'll be, uh, Wendy will talk to you guys about sharing with enough people and Rachel will be sharing with you guys about how to offer the opportunity. So first thing I wanna say is you've got to be real with yourself. Are you asking enough people? I think that the really scary part of all of it is it's so easy to make an excuse that I've tried this or I've tried that or I've asked these people, I don't know who else to ask, but you, I promise you, you don't know everyone and you haven't tried everything yet. You've tried the things that you know to try. So that's what we're here to help you with. I want to ask you to really evaluate your mindset and think about all of this with a generous heart and an arrows out perspective, all right? Being successful in Sensi comes from a place of helping other people be as successful in Sensi. If you can detach yourself from your goals and help other people reach their goals, that's when you're gonna be successful, okay? So mindset is a huge, huge, huge thing of it. Don't tell yourself that you've tried everything. Don't tell yourself that you've asked everyone. No, if you're saying those things, you're just done trying and we don't want you there. So let's talk about how you can try again by asking enough people. So I'm gonna let Wendy take it away. Miss Wendy Newgas. Unmute. Hi everyone. Oh goodness. I'm so excited. I'm going to change to gallery. Can you change it to me, my love? There we go. Anyway, I'm here. I'm here with you guys tonight. My name is Wendy Heath Newgas, superstar director from Southern California, hence no sleeves, right? Um, so I got the lovely challenge tonight to challenge you, okay? I've been a superstar director for a few years and sales and sharing comes easy. 
but sharing the opportunity is a little more challenging. I challenged myself last year to do annual sales, which I hit every year. I'm not trying to be braggy, but annual mentor was hard for me. So I challenged myself last year to do both, and I did. So think about it. Like Anna said, it's mindset. Do you guys believe you can do it? I'm going to challenge you. We are challenging you. And when we get done, you are going to be ready. I promise. So are you ready for the challenge for today? This challenge goes till the end of December. Now, that's just the challenge for tonight. But let me tell you this. You can challenge yourself next month and the following month and teach your team members to do the same. That's why it's so important. So our challenge is we are going to go for a hundred no's by the end of the month. Are you ready? We got this, guys. So this is your challenge, right? You're going to accept this challenge and you're going to go for it. Why? Because... We're not asking you, you thought we were asking you if we were challenging you. No, you are challenging yourself. This is your challenge. This is your business. You need to own it, right? What I can tell you and what Rachel can tell you and Anna can tell you, it's nothing if you don't apply it to what's happening. So hear me out, let's talk about this. We want you to reach new levels in your business, okay? By asking more and more people. That's a hundred no's by the end of December. Wendy, are you crazy? No, I'm not crazy. Well, I'm a little crazy, but that's a good thing. Um, that's five no's you've got to get every day, starting now. Are you ready? All right, so let's kind of get outside our comfort zone. What does that even look like? Do you know that the comfort zone, your comfort zone, is truly defined by you? Let's branch out of that. So I'm going to give you three easy steps, what to do. We're going to wrap this challenge up. And when I get done, Rachel is going to share. Be ready for this. She's going to share some files that you're just going to love. I promise this is going to be a great night. So we're getting out of our comfort zone. We're going to go for the no. We have 100 no's to get by December 31st. Woo, woo. So let's talk about the three steps, okay? This challenge is to fail. You're going for no. I know you're saying a failure. When you're failing in this challenge, it means you're not talking to enough people. Okay? Mm. You got to talk about the business opportunity. So by doing this challenge, 100 no's by December, you're going to challenge yourself five people each day to share the opportunity. You're thinking, how can I do that? What can I do? How can I track that? Well, I'm here to tell you this. We did create a form we're going to share later, and it's a form that you can write down every day all your notes. You're like, I'm not a paper and pen kind of person. Well, guess what? You could put rubber bands. Seriously, rubber bands on your arm. Five rubber bands. Every time you challenge yourself, you move it from the right arm to the left arm. <gasps> guess what? That's a good way of tracking it. You could put chicken scratches on your hand. You could do a push-up every time you, you get someone to say no. I don't care how you track it. You just need to track it, okay? Because having a system and being able to track it is the most important. So you just need to have like a mechanism and a place, the rubber band challenge. <laughs> you know where that comes from, Michelle Rodriguez. That's right. But you know what? This helps keep me accountable. Do what works for you and use what you have. That's all we're asking. So now you've got this little chicken scratch on your hand or you're walking out with your rubber bands every day or you wear bracelets. It doesn't matter. So in your physical life is the day you're born until your life ends. Our emotional life, okay, hear me out, is just as real and just as important. Humans have a tendency to build in this protector of their physical life which means they kind of get in the way of living out their emotional life. So we protect ourselves physically and we have a tendency to avoid risk, any risk. Why do we avoid it? Why? Because we're afraid of rejection. We're afraid of getting that door slammed. We're afraid of the no today and for the rest of the month. And as you continue to challenge your business, you are going to go for the no. The no is a good thing. I'm not asking you to climb a mountain. Anna didn't challenge me to do 100 sit-ups, although I probably would. All we're asking is you take a risk 
to grow your business. And by doing that, the more people you reach out to, the more people you talk to, I promise that risk is gonna go away. It's not gonna be a risk. Every day you're gonna wake up and you're gonna go, I gotta ask five people. Well, maybe you won't do a dance like that and that's okay too. But you're gonna to want to wake up every day with the purpose. Hey guys, COVID is tough and COVID is real. Find something that gives you a purpose. And this is what our conversation is about today. So take the greatest risk of all, embrace the failure, embrace the embarrassment and the rejection. That's all it is. It just is. What if we just told you to embrace it, go for the no, and live your life like it depends on it? Would you do it? Well, guess what? Your sensey future depends on it. 100 no's by December 31st. I believe in you. Rachel believes in you. Anna believes in you. Let's do it, guys. Let's do this challenge. Love you guys. I'm telling you next, Rachel's gonna share the form. We're going to share all the things. We're going to give you different ways to ask people. You are going to love it. We're filling you today. But don't forget, I want to know who's in this challenge. You better make sure and reach out to me. Let's do it. Go, Rachel. You are next. Uh, okay. So first off, I'm going to share the file for the go for no. So here is the file. And I, you will have all these files on your team page or whatever else. Can you see this? Okay. Anna. Okay. Okay. So this is the first file we wanted to share with you guys. And this is the ho ho grow go for the no. So the rest of December, we want you to get a hundred no's when you break Break down a hundred no's. That's only five a day. So it's really not that much. So we made this for you. So you can go in and you can write down those names and keep track of it. So this can become kind of like your, your future reference, or even maybe your new, if you've never made a list of 100, kind of like your new list of 100, um, whatever, but we want 100 no's and we want it documented. It doesn't have to be documented here, but it's helpful to be documented here because if you have a hundred, you might lose track of who you asked or didn't ask. So this is a really helpful tool to really keep up with who you've asked. And then I'm going to stop sharing because we are going to share this on all of the pages. So you will have this, the file to this to print yourself. Um, but I wanted to talk to you guys really, about, really quick about arrows out um, and what that really means and how you, the biggest way that you can um, utilize a very special tool that we have available in our business that is very arrows out. And what that is, is that's the earn your kit. The earn your kit is the single best way that Cincy has ever given us to grow your team and to sponsor like, like crazy. Okay. We used to not have that tool. It used to be that if you wanted to be a consultant, you had to pay $99 period. Maybe we would have a $49 joint special, but that was it. Now we have an amazing tool of being able to gift kits to people, being able to give people kits that have $39 or $59 or whatever, um, you know, whatever the party's at, whatever, you know, you guys know what I mean. So you have that tool available to you. So you guys, I want to take your, you know, your challenge a little bit further. And I want you to make a goal. And I know Anna's doing this right now to make a goal of not closing a single party without a kit attached to it. And you can do that. You guys know how to do that. I don't think we need to go over the nitty gritty of how, but every single party that you have, as long as there's only, as long as there's 65 cents or 25 cents or whatever left in the host credit, you can add a host enrollment kit to that party. So it doesn't matter if there's a host attached to it and they need the host rewards or whatever, you're able to add a kit. So I want you to really, really buckle down and decide that that's how you're doing it the rest of the month that you do not close a kit. If you have, you know, $59 in host credit. So say that you sold a bunch of Yodas or say that you're, you know, doing a fundraiser or whatever, and you have $59 in host credit or $60 in host credit. Well, I guess that's impossible, but you guys know what I mean. $75 in host credit, however much you need, whatever you have, do you really, really need that warmer and that I'm trying to think of something in my stock that warmer and that thing of whiffs, you don't need that. Okay. Instead of buying a container washer whiffs and a couple six packs or that warmer and a couple six packs, gift that kit to someone, you guys, it's host credit that you're, it's not money out of your pocket. And this time of year and the current environment that we're in between COVID and people being out of work and people having a ton of things going on, you can bless somebody's life more than I think you could even understand or fathom right now by giving them a kit. You're not just giving them a, some free product or giving them, you know, free stuff. Granted, they're getting that in the mail, but you're giving them the ability to change all of their circumstances. 
to literally change their entire life. So what is more valuable? You buying two containers of washer whiffs or knowing that you've changed someone's entire life? Because I know that my entire life is different because of Sensi. I know that many, many of you, your lives are completely different because of Sensi. So really, you know, think about it. What's most important, changing somebody's life or getting two containers of washer whips? Obviously, changing somebody's life is going to be the, the big, the, the big prize there. And that's what the arrows out thing is because it's not about you. It's about other people. And just like Anna said, if you want to have a phenomenal business in Cincy, you need to think arrows out and think about how you're blessing other people, whether it's with the gift of fragrance and just buying Cincy, or whether it's with the gift of having a business and changing their lives. That is what you're doing is blessing other people. It's not about you. It's about them. And I was talking to Anna and Wendy earlier today, and I told them one of my big pet peeves is when I hear people say, join my team. Because at the end of the day, it's not about you. It's not about your team. It's about your Sensi family and what it's going to do for them, not what it's going to do for you. Okay. And whether it's, you know, every aspect of your business, you need to think about it, how you can bless somebody else um, and arrows out, not about you. And then shifting that mindset from, do you need two things of washer wipes or do you want to change somebody's life? That's what it comes down to. So we have another file for you guys too that I wanted to share. And I seen somebody over here said that they're struggling to get parties booked. There are so many ways to get parties booked. Whether you're doing a whiff box party, a fragrance flower party, whether you're doing a basket party, an online party, a text party, whether you're doing a fundraiser that you're collecting, that you're doing, I don't know, I'm looking around my office, literally thinking about what else, other things you can make parties for, a catch-all party, whatever, whatever. You, I mean, we have bring back my bar. You have so many opportunities to have parties. And the thing is, it doesn't have to be a party. It can be a unique shopping link. Everybody that buys from you, you need to be saying, do you want to get that for free? or offering for them to use host rewards to buy their product. It's possible. You guys still have a week left. Wait, what is today? Over a week left. What, eight days? I think, maybe, I don't know. Um, left, seven days. You still have seven days left in before the, the, the Christmas cutoff is. You can do a stinking party in seven days. You can do a qualifying party in one day, okay? You just gotta buckle down and say you're gonna do it, all right? So I may be jumping the gun, but how should we word it instead of join my team? You say, don't make it about you. Join my team sounds so yucky. It sounds so yucky, you guys. Say, now I'm like drawing a blank, but there's so many other things you could say. <laughs> say, have you ever thought about joining Cincy? Have you ever considered doing what I'm doing? But that's coming. Here's some wording. I was off on a tangent and then I got distracted. So we have another file we want to share with you. Let me pull it up wherever it might be. I think it's here. Okay. Tell me when you see that. Anna, see it? Okay. Okay. So here's another one. This is a file we wanted to share with you guys all about wording. So the initial conversation starter. So you're going to see, and I'm going to zoom a little bit so that you can read these. When you print this, it'll be more easy to see. Um, but right now, obviously you're on a computer, but um, these are combat excuses and grow your team. So icebreakers, these are some conversations that you can have. Um, and one of them is, you know, medium length. One of them is a little bit longer for somebody that maybe you haven't talked to in a long time or whatever else. And one of them is super short and sweet, super short and sweet. And if you've ever listened to a training for me, I am the person that will tell you, if you can't say it in one sentence, don't say it because as short and sweet as you can get it most of the time, but sometimes you need more content, um, you know, to back up what you're saying. So there's three different icebreakers for you. And then in the middle, we have excuse busters. So these are three of the most common excuses that we've heard. I'm too busy. Everyone sells it. I'm not a salesperson. And then here's some rebuttals for you. So here's, and obviously we don't want you to take this and copy paste it. We don't want you to take any of this and copy paste it. So at the bottom, this is where we want you to fill in your personal icebreaker message and then your personal excuse busters. Make them personal, make them authentic, make them you. Don't say, because if you say what Wendy's saying, it's not going to sound like you. If I say, Wendy's one of my very best friends, and I can't even say it and it sound like me because I'm not Wendy. Do you know what I mean? You can't say what I say, and people are probably going to think you're a sarcastic butthead if you say things that I say. People that know me know it's my personality, but other people may not know that about your personality because it may not be yours. <laughs> so make it your, yourself, make it authentic, make it you. That's what Sensi is about, is again, those core values of authenticity, generosity, all of those things all come back to sponsoring. So I'm going to stop sharing. You're going to get these files, um, and then I'm going to hand it back to Anna and mute myself because I've talked way too long. Okay, there's two parts.
I was thinking when you're talking about authenticity of messages, because it, it really is it's so important for whatever you say to be your own words. If, if I were to copy and paste what Rachel says, it'll have 11 billion exclamation points because that's Rachel. <laughs> and that's not me because I'll read it six times and replace so many periods to make sure that I don't sound overly excited because I'm, I, I think about those sorts of things in, um, in different ways. But what I'm trying to say is- Girls, go brush your teeth. That's not what I was trying to say. <laughs> What I'm trying to say is whatever it is that you say needs to come naturally and authentically out of you. So think about what you sound like when you have a conversation and come from a place of offering the blessing as an opportunity, the, the opportunity as a blessing. You're not out there head hunting. You're out there feeding the birds. Sensi's opportunity is bird seed in your hand. Let the birds come to you. Offer it out in a stretched hand because it's a great opportunity. And no right now, when you do Wendy's challenge, when you hear no, no right now does not mean no forever. So keep doing it and keep asking because you guys, there are people that I have asked and I, there are directors in my front line, my very front line, I have directors who I asked repeatedly for months or years before they finally join me. So please, please, please don't let no be the end all be all. You got to continue to follow up and offer the opportunity, be yourself, share it with the excitement that you have. Um, offer, offer compliments when you offer it to people. I think you would be amazing at this and this is why. They need to know that they can be successful, right? It's not join my team. I, it's, I think that you would be amazing at this because you love the product or you know so many people or you have passion for whatever you do or you are so organized or there, there's so many things that you can think of that would make somebody successful in this business, but tailor it to that person. Be authentic in whatever, whatever compliment that you hand out because it's gonna give them that reassurance that maybe they can do this, right? So, um, I'm going to go ahead and open it back up to Rachel and Wendy so we, we can bounce ideas off of each other before we finish up. Okay, I had one thing I thought of when you were talking. I knew you would, and that's why I said that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I wanted to bring up re like reverse psychology with it too. And this is one way that, that if you feel like you can't find anybody or maybe you're scared to straight up ask somebody, which I get that. I remember those feelings. Maybe you're afraid to straight up ask somebody. Remember, you can use a little bit of reverse psychology on them too. So instead of messaging them and saying, if you're afraid to, hey, I think you'd be great at this. Maybe message to say, hey, I have an actual, I have a free host enrollment kit available. Do you know anybody that I could bless with it or anybody that would be great at this something along those lines because you never know if a they're going to give you a friend that is going to be fantastic or b if they're going to say oh i i want that do you know what i mean so that's always an option too and if you're afraid to straight up ask ask them if they know somebody who could use it do you know what i mean right because then the rejection's not coming to you from them so mm -hmm. that's really genius wendy i know you have something to say no i was just saying it's it's kind of crazy because you think about it as the opportunity but you think about it as blessing someone else's life. You never know who needs this. And because you didn't ask, they may be afraid to think they can't do it. You just give them the confidence. You may make a difference of putting food on the table, of helping someone through COVID. I'm so sorry, but this is a tough time. We've got to think about blessing others. That's all it is. You can even say, you know, you're put, you got a $150 order. You know what? Guess what? You can get paid back for your refunds. You're refunded back on your products. Let me gift you this kit. You can get money back on what you're already buying. Guys, let's go for the no. Let's change lives. This is what it's all about. It really is. I'm sorry. No, I think that that's it's not a good thing. Because it's not right. Because <laughs> There's a lot of people who would say no that don't necessarily know that they need this. I didn't know that I needed this. So they need us. There are people who think, ah, that's not for me. Well, 
you can at least buy from yourself. You're buying a lot. And then they find out that this is exactly what they needed. And it's because you offered it to them and you yeah. didn't keep that $150 order that Wendy was just talking about, but you, you gifted it and you pushed it forward and you blessed them with more than just wax and warmers. Absolutely. Well, and that's the thing too, is you have to always keep in mind that don't judge somebody be, from their exterior kind of, they may not need this because of the money. And we always have to keep in mind too, that there's so many other reasons people need Cincy. The money is the very tip of the iceberg. And I know you've heard it probably from my mouth and everybody else's mouth, but so many of us might start from the money even, but that's not why we stay. You know what I mean? Like the money's great. Don't get me wrong, but I couldn't imagine watching Anna and Wendy go places and he said, I not go. Like there's no freaking way I would hate my life if I didn't get to go everywhere that they go. So there's so <laughs> many reasons, whether it's traveling, whether it's a sisterhood, whether it's free product, whether it's, I've known people, you guys that sell Scentsy for the tax deduction. There are so many reasons why people need Scentsy. And I can tell you right now, every single person, you know, needs Scentsy. They may not know it yet and they may not know why, but they need it for some reason. Everybody needs a discount. Everybody needs a sisterhood. Everybody needs a tax deduction. Everybody needs some extra money. Whatever, whatever it is, every person you know needs Sensi. And most people don't know the ability of Sensi to change their lives. People, believe it or not, people think that this is still a scam and that it's not real and we don't make real money. It is up to you to make the difference and ask them. And to live the Cincy lifestyle, to prove to them that this is legit, this is real, this is life-changing. And by not sharing it and blessing other people, you're doing the world a disservice because this is something, like we said, that can change your life. And it's your job to share it with people in so many more ways than one. You know what I mean? Not just about making money. One more thing. I, I just thought about, it's so crazy because guess what? Now you have things to put in social media and to share on stories. I had some girl say she loved when she joined my team because she was like, oh my gosh, I have things that I can share now on social media. Like, I know it sounds silly and simple, but that's something as little as that. I had one girl join my team because she wanted to get cards with confetti in it. Like, you never know what the blessing is going to be. Continue to bless. We are so happy you guys joined us tonight. I know Anna has some more to share as well. So blessed. Oh gosh, all I wanted to say is that this, this conversation doesn't stop here in our Zoom chat tonight. Because of the, the files that Rachel's prepared for you guys, you're gonna be able to create your own join message. Um, you're gonna be able to think about your own responses to people's common excuses. So that way you're prepared for those conversations that you're gonna have. Because when you start asking people, like Wendy's asking you to do this month, uh, you're, gonna get a, you're gonna get no's. You're going to get people who don't answer you, which doesn't count as a no, just so you know. Um, <laughs> people who are interested, they, they have questions, they're, they're wondering more about the, the business. And I think that that can be part of what is scary in offer the, offering the opportunity is not really knowing what to say or how to say or any of that. So what we want is for you guys to be able to think about that, share it with each other, and kind of refine what it is that you think that you're going to be able to say to people. So, um, Elise, I see your comment. Do you, how do you talk, tackle the ones that don't answer? I don't. You can't let that slow you down. You're always going to have people who don't answer. But here's the thing. Just because they didn't answer doesn't mean that they didn't see it or that they yeah. weren't interested, or that maybe they were distracted, you said something. You planted a seed in their mind about Sensi. So the chance is they still may be interested. They still may join you down the line. Just because they didn't say anything, that's not bad. It's not bad. That's why I say it's not a no. It's definitely not a no. Yeah. And that's what planting seeds is just so important. It's about, you know, just it, it, whether you're in a garden or whether you're growing a business, you, when you plant a seed, you don't immediately yield results. You're not going to have your harvest till months later and that's okay. And there's a lot of things in this business that 
you do things now and you don't see the results for months and it's just being patient and it's doing it consistently and doing it over and over again. And just because one person says no, or just because somebody says something hateful, because who cares? And I have to, even now, five years later, I'm confident in my business. I'm confident as a person. And I still, sometimes before I send somebody a message or say something to somebody, I think about it like, oh my God, well, what if, what if, what if they don't like it? Or what if they get mad or what, whatever. And I literally have to talk myself out of it and say like, if they care, if they do, who cares? Like, it's not bothers. It's not something that I'm going to go home and cry about it because at the end of the day, like who cares? Like if somebody's mad at you because you offer them an opportunity, then do you really think that they matter to you anyways? I mean, who cares? Like if they want to, if they want to block you or if they want to unfriend you or whatever, then go for it because they're not people that are paying your bills. They're not putting food on your table and who cares what they think. Cheap seats. <laughs> they're the people in the cheap seats or they're not yep. even in the stadium. So they didn't have tickets to begin with. So don't let them, Yes. whatever it is that you're doing. Yeah. I water those seeds all the time do it all the time. The things that nobody wants to do and the things that are hard and the moments that are hard is the difference in having a good harvest in the fall and uh, speaking in garden terms and not because when I go out to my garden, Jenny, um, and if I don't, (laughs) if I don't pull weeds, then they're going to take over my garden. If I don't go out there and I don't prune my tomato bushes and do all these things that, you know what, people don't really want to do. People don't want to go do the things that are dirty and all of those things, but they make the difference in my garden. And it's the same thing in my business. All of these things. I will tell you the same thing. If you plant seeds and you don't water them, someone else is going to come along and water them. And and they're going to join somebody else and you're going to be devastated. Um, I tell my team all the time, you better be asking everybody because if you don't, I will. (laughs) they'll join me and you're going to be sad so offer it to everyone and continue to follow up aka water your seeds and those personal shopping links turn into an amazing opportunity to gift them so easy the shopping links are the easiest most of us have information on our team pages but i really believe that Right now, those shopping links are working. They come back to you with two or three hundred dollars in orders, and you turn it into their orders and their business and their opportunity. I am all about those shopping links. I have four out right now this month. They're easy and they're the way to go. I better get four teamies from them too. (laughs) And I love that because it's so much about just keeping it simple and not overcomplicating it. And that's why I think at least the unique shopping link thing works because it's so simple, it's so easy. (laughs) 